Hello, I'm Michael Jensen from Seafarum Consultants and I'm exploring today a number of uh, client interviews with Bridgeworks. In particular, I'm focusing on the impact that Bridgeworks has had on those businesses. I'm very interested, Peter, too, in the, the lasting benefits of these sorts of programs to organisations. Can you say anything about that? Sure. I think in my last, uh, my last role as country manager or Australian business manager for rights and seeds, we use Bridgeworks extensively to help develop a management team. And um, the result of that was that we were able then to change the culture of the organisation um, and from that we were able to implement all our strategic initiatives and we basically doubled our sales over five years. So without um, the help of bridge work, I'm sure that process would have taken twice as long. I think it, it enables people to work in a teamwork environment yeah. to understand the benefits of um, effective teamwork. Um, and it's all part of just building that culture. Yeah. The other thing I find is sometimes that people who don't want to fit within the culture actually move on. They self-exit. Now, that never concerns me mm -hmm. because they're not part of the value stream that you're trying to build with a culture. Mm -hmm. So sometimes a byproduct of the leadership training is the person say, this, this place is not for me, mm -hmm. I can't fit here, so that moves on. The new person comes in and away we go. Insurances. The company had made a profit of about a million dollars mm -hmm. in the previous year. Um, it's an insurance company and a million dollars profit from an insurance company is not very much. Within two years, we turned that million dollar profit around to $11 million profit using the same management. Mm -hmm. Now, that to me speaks volumes for the benefit of the program. Now you had a lot of that to the Bridgeworks intervention? Yes, I do. Yes, because we built an effective leadership team and then that filtered right down through the organisation. What happened there and what was the improvement? Okay. The South Australian team had. Um, their performance hadn't been particularly high in our ranking with other teams. Um, they were, from memory, Team 15 in, out of 16 only through the program, and that's a three-day program and then a follow-up session. Um, they came second nationally, uh, and that's a huge improvement, uh, and it's attributable to uh, his program.